All right, so today we're going to be doing Flappy Bird in Rocket League. This is something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, but I finally got around to it. I actually have two versions of it where you can play with the normal view of Flappy Bird and then where you can actually play as your car point of view. So it's going to be interesting to see both versions and how they play out. It's actually quite difficult. Uh, we're going to be using Bakke's Mod's uh, little unlimited flips action here, which is how we're going to make this map work. Basically, I lock the car in place. And I'm able to make the car move up and down uh, with a higher gravity and also using a limited jump so you can just pop up and down. Uh, so the, the pipes move at a constant speed, but there's a certain combination of pipes that I think is actually maybe impossible. Uh, I think it's when it's like the highest one and then the lowest one and then the highest one again. The momentum is just impossible, but I, th I think I like that challenge that you can you can you can actually make it through. I've done it once, but uh, otherwise it's pretty difficult. I'm curious to see how people like deal with this map. I think that getting reaching 100 is actually quite difficult. Uh, meanwhile, on Flappy Bird, you could get up to like a thousand, two thousand, whatever. Unfortunately, this game is dead now on the App Store, and people have copied it many times. But I thought I'd bring it into Rocket League, and that's what we're gonna do today. So this is a third-person uh, version. Um, you start off on the platform in the middle here, and then the pipes just come to you once you start the map. Uh, I got the pipes clear at the top, top right corner there. Uh, right by our name or right by our chat and uh my camera and uh once the go happens then you just gotta wait for the pipes to show up and here they are and you know what i'm gonna probably i'm gonna probably turn down the uh the audio for this <laughs> this recording because it is just constant that should be good enough okay so first trial here let's see how we do it's a little bit funky because of how i did this but it actually works out pretty well so let's let's see. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, sometimes the flaps don't work as well as you expect them to, so you gotta be a little careful with that. But you know, it's it it is what it is. It's Flappy Bird or Flappy Car, I guess. Pretty good so far. Yeah, the jump sounds are quite 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 a lot just to constantly happen. But what do you guys think? Only flips to go up and down. That's how Flappy Bird used to work. So, I mean, you can flip. I just don't recommend it because you're inside of the you're like basically stuck in a tunnel. That's like a car size. We're doing pretty good so far. I mean, in my testing, the highest I think I got was 38. Uh, just to make sure everything works. But so far, we're halfway there. I did practice a little bit before this recording to make sure I don't fail miserably. Oh, okay. We're good. And the detection is pretty accurate. It works pretty well. Nice. I, I, I've... I've wanted to make this for so long, and the fact that this now exists is incredible. Um, it's quite funny how this actually works. There's a lot behind the scenes, and I don't know if you guys want me to show that. I probably won't show it in this video, but if you guys want to see some behind the scenes of certain maps, it's uh, there's actually nine pipes uh, that go around in a circle. They kind of they kind of pass the screen, or they pass the player, and then they go they go underneath the tunnel, and uh, pop back out of the other side and uh, they randomly they randomly generate the location uh between a bunch of them here's where i was talking about how it's a pretty intense we're actually at 42 i passed my record let's go pretty pretty well um it's it's interesting how it works basically i've repeated it i've teleported a pipe to a certain height uh randomly uh and then the random uh pipe then moves across the screen in at the same rate so it, it actually is working pretty well and now we just passed halfway to 100. I did say that 100 is like gonna be really hard, so let's see if we can do it. We got a bad combo of pipes here. Okay, not too bad. I'm getting pretty lucky. Oh no! You don't want to go too fast, or else you hit the top of that pipe on the way on the way up. But uh... oh no, this is this is one of the bad ones. Okay, we're good. Honestly, we're doing really well. No 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 no! No! <laughs> okay, 61. Honestly, not bad. I might add in the future a high score uh, counter at the top. But it, it literally just jumps right back into the, another another game right when you finish. So it's it's nice and quick. It, it, it resets perfectly for you. And uh, we go again. I, I honestly think I could spend a lot of time on this trying to get a record. Oh, no. I hit it too many times. See, I, see, I like that. That momentum there is really difficult. Uh, to deal with you gotta make sure that you don't uh jump too fast or else you you just kind of float i did up like i said i up the gravity a bit but it's uh it's it's not it's not enough but the problem is getting up is harder if you if i increase the gravity so i think this is a good balance it feels pretty good sometimes the gravity pulls you down pretty hard but it's enough that you can climb fast enough 
But, I mean, to no one's surprise. <laughs> ah, dude, like, I'm telling you, that's the combo that I think is, like, nearly impossible. It's, like, how do you possibly, like, spam the button that fast enough? Because there's actually a bit of a delay between pops. You can't pop, like, really fast. If I, if I like, spam it, um, it doesn't actually, like, input. It doesn't grab every input. So you gotta be, you gotta be careful with how fast you spam the button. Oh, of course, it gives it to us right away again. Oh, dude, I'm telling you, that combo of, like, high, low, high is probably impossible. I think it's actually impossible. I think the gravity would pull you down fast enough, but popping popping it up uh, the other way is... Like, if it was down, up, down, I think it would be fine. But, like, fighting the, the gravity with these pops, you have to, like, be really careful with how fast you spam it, like I said, so... I mean, hey, I'll take it. We got 62, was it? Uh, I didn't make it to 69, unfortunately. So after we do a few more run runs of this on this uh, this side view, I have a version of the map where you're actually in car view or car cam, uh, so you can see the pipes coming at you. Oh, I'm just not falling fast enough. See, there's a bit of a problem with like how this works is that in order to lock my car in the position that I have, I have to take the position of the car and take the current height and uh, feed a, a value it's, it's really confusing but basically I have to feed a value of zero into the x and y which is like forward and backward left and right um i have to feed a number zero like i cannot move forward uh because you can see that little like wiggle it's the the program or the, the the map is constantly telling the car not to move forward um it's constantly giving that back so the problem is, is i'm feeding i'm feeding the, the the height of my car back into the car and it's actually causing some weird interactions with like the gravity and stuff sometimes. Um, but I mean, there is really nothing you can do about it. <laughs> this is as good as it's going to get with Rocket League. And I think it's pretty fun. I think uh, we'll do we'll do one more try hard round here and see if we can get a good uh, score. I mean, the fact that this exists is just is wild to me. Oh, there it goes again. So like it, 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 it kind of like doesn't listen to the pops as as well as it should. I've tried to turn it off, like turning off like uh, setting the car's position, and your car kind of kind of ends up just like freaking out. Actually, I could show it real quick. I'm gonna show that real quick. I mean, I can show I can show this. Basically, this is this is the mechanism that is going to lock the car in place. It's gonna take player zero, and since it's a free play map where you're only one player, um, it's taking the uh, it's grabbing the velocity of the player. And then spitting that into an XYZ. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking the Z value of that XYZ, the current uh, position and velocity. And I'm keeping the, the Y velocity, but eliminating the X and Y. I don't know if you're following. If anyone's following that, you know, maybe it makes sense to you. But basically, if you don't do this part, if I disable this and I break. The Actually, I can leave that one. I if I break this off and I just go to here instead and just reset ro rotation or location, there's something that really interesting that happens. This is the version that I had without resetting the position of the car, uh, the velocity of the car. And, uh, it gets, it gets pretty weird the longer you, uh, the longer you exist in the map. It, it seems harmless so far. But it's gonna start being, <laughs> it's gonna start vibrating profusely. And, uh, the map does behave better with this version, but your car kind of... You know, I'll, I'll just let it play out. You know, you're gonna start to notice something weird about <laughs> about the vehicle. Oh, this is you ain't seen, you ain't seen nothing yet. This is uh, nowhere close to as bad as it can get. So this is a version without resetting the velocity, and this is why I had to do this because the car just kind of starts to vibrate really fast. And I've got it. I left it to the point where it like speeds out so it speeds up so fast that you can't even read the the U. It's like just blurry. You can see that this behaves a lot better though, that I can actually like climb those pretty well. Uh, there's no getting around this vibrating if I do it this way. Uh, the, the word U is getting incredibly, in incredibly uh, difficult to... <laughs> just kinda, it just kinda freaks out. If I go up here and then... <laughs> like I don't even know what's happening anymore. Anyway, that's why I don't have it that way. Okay, so just so you know, here's the map program and here's all of the all the stuff for the map. Basically, when the level loads, uh, it deletes the ball that exists in the middle of the map and then it spits the pipe total on the screen. And what it's doing is it's spitting the, the text of like how many pipes are cleared every 0.01 seconds. So it says it's it displays it for 0.01 seconds and then spits out a new one in case the pipe total updates. Um, 
right here this is to make all the triggers follow the the active pipes so it just makes all the different like detect detection triggers so like the ones that are surrounding the pipes and the ones that are past the pipes that give you a point when you pass the pipe um right here these these big like long loopy chain things are each of the pipes and how i do it basically is i generate a random number between one to seven and it checks between those different numbers and depending on what random number is given it spawns a pipe at one of these locations so what it does is it teleports the ball the the pipes to like a position like this and then the matinee here it's right here this is how it does it um it you press play it goes across like this at this rate and you can see right here it actually goes under the map and then back across and there's a reason why is because the the trigger is teleporting it'll actually reset the player if i if i push it back that way like that um so if i actually sit under here you can actually see it return pretty fast oh there it goes <laughs> it's, it's so fast um it just immediately flies over there and then it resets and then and that one will spit out again so it just does a loop like that anyway i thought i'd show that in case you guys were curious uh, how i built it it's pretty simple and we just have a camera uh, facing right here to, sh to look at the, the screen. But now I think it's time to jump into first person. All right, so here's the first person version. A little more menacing. I put a ball at the end there so you can use your, your uh, ball cam. But uh, a little more menacing when the pipes are flying at you like this. It's actually terrifying. Uh, and this gave me a few ideas for 2D rings maps and, uh, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, to be able to make 2D side-scrolling rings that just indefinitely happen. I think that's definitely going to be my next move. Um, adding different obstacles. Where you can move left and right but stay in like a plane. Uh, similar to a, a map called the Hornet's Nest that I made a video on a long time ago. But I actually find this a little bit easier. At times, for some reason. Oh, okay, we're good. It actually makes it a little bit easier to tell you your spacing between the car and the pipes. And uh, it's definitely a different vibe. I actually get a pretty good score here with this this version. I didn't really practice this one too much because it's the same kind of thing, um, just at a different point of view. I mean, they're both technically third person, if you want to say. I saw someone in the chat say, oh, this is also third person. I mean, I'd say for Rocket League, first person, this is first person. You, you are this, like, flying GoPro behind a car. Like, the car is something that you control, but you are the person looking at the car right behind you. Uh, but this is... As close as- Okay, come on. <laughs> oh, that was so rude. I, I, I'm i actually like really proud of this one. I think it's a unique a unique look and it's a unique idea. It doesn't exactly look like uh, Flappy Bird with like the grass and stuff. I was going to do that, but I thought, you know, giving it a little bit of a Rocket League twist to it. You know, Flappy Car. It's a good mix between uh, how Flappy Bird behaves and looks and how Rocket League behaves and looks. I mean, obviously you can't flip like this in Rocket League, but okay, I'm dead. Yep. Yeah, there's no way. So I think there are some times where it just the game like, screws you over, but I, I'll, I'll probably work on that and make some tweaks. But I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little look at a uh, flappy car. Definitely an interesting, interesting experience building it. Um, and even more of an interesting experience playing it. Like it's so surreal to play Rocket League like this. Um, if you want to, if you want to try this for yourself, it'll be on my website quite soon. But I'm, le um, I'm leaving this to early access for my patrons for a while at patreon.com slash uh, You can check it out. I'll have both versions available to download, um, as well as all my other early access maps that are out right now. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You know, I said, I said I'll catch you guys in the next one, but this round this round's actually going pretty well. I'm prob I probably jinxed it. Might be the best, the be the best first-person score I've had. Oh, come on. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, peace.